fishing episode, my friend Randolph and his son Hans are driving down and meeting me in Key Largo, where we will be going out of John Penny Camp Coral Reef State Park, and we are taking Randolph's boat offshore out here to about 25 to 30 feet of water, and we will do some chumming and some patch reef fishing. From there, we will move slightly offshore off of the reef's edge into slightly deeper water where we will continue fishing in search for muttons and any kind of other snapper there are. Hey guys, guess who's in the keys? This guy. I'm getting a little bit of work done. I got a great view on the sunset right now. It's kind of hard to tell. Why don't I take my phone out there? There it is. Whoa. I just got totally sidetracked watching that sunset. I think like three hours just passed. Totally forgot I was making a video. So tonight in two hours, which is 10 p.m., I'm going to go to sleep. Good night. And then I'm waking up to go offshore fishing at 6 in the morning. So that gives me eight full hours of sleep. All right, it's 6 a.m. Let's find out where Randall is. Well, Randall is still in Fort Lauderdale. So... I can go back to sleep for one more hour. It is 62 degrees outside. It's freezing cold. <laughs> for me, this is really cold. And for bait, we are not going to Key Largo Fisheries, but we are going to Captain Bad's Bane Tackle. We got, we have some fans here. <laughs> what you guys been doing today? I already got up, went fishing, caught some jacks. Fun real quick. <laughs> My son Joey, we always watch the channel, man. We appreciate it. Great, well, I'll be going offshore. So hopefully you see this video and there's some fish being caught. <laughs> Perfect. All right, man, take care. All right, cheers, guys. All right, there's Randall in front of me. That's the Shearwater boat we're gonna be taking out offshore. And uh, there's John Penny Camp State Park right over there. So here we go. John Penny Camp. This is a beautiful park, that's for sure. $4.50 per person and here we are John Penny camp. There's the boat ramp Okay, a quick rundown of the gear I'm running. I'm using both pen spin fishers as my reels This is a custom rod beefier rod Which I'll be using 30 pound braid to 30 pound mono on This is my toadfish rod more light action which I'll be using the smaller Spin Fisher V4500 on with 20 pound braid, and I'll be using 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. This will be for yellowtail, this will be for mutton. We have another fan. Hopefully, you catch some fish today. Hopefully, hopefully, it's a good day. hopefully we all catch fish today. Been seeing so many fans, it's great. But I almost forgot the bally hoop net. Oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Pick up Craig. Where's Craig? There's Craig. You. You. God, smile. Is that an aerator going? Um, yeah, it is. It's 
Yeah. Is it working on? Yeah. That's a nice. Back at the drop-off point. Craig did good. He filled the boat with bait pilchards. for us. Lots and lots of pilchards. Thanks right, man. again, man. You were the best. Yep, I'll see you guys. Uh... Nice, dog. Right, good luck. Something. Later, Thanks. Craig. We're going for the muttons. <laughs> So it begins. Oh, it's a mutton. Oh. That's a mutton, baby. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Five years. Oh wait, no, that's that's not oh, a mutton. Oh no, that's a that's um, glass. Um... Oh. Oh, that's good. And that's delicious. That's real Dude. top of the line right there. Wow. Beautiful fish. That is a beautiful fish. Oh, nice. Whoop. And away it goes. It's a yellowtail. A little baby yellowtail. First one in the boat, dude. What you got there? You call fronts. You bring the soy sauce? I did. Good. Got some soy sauce and some wasabi. You want the soy sauce? Heck yes. All right, I'm gonna go get it. I'll take half of that. Nice. Needs some wasabi and rice. Yeah. It was good. I gotta I, film you. Alright. Catch another grunt. Alright, I'll catch something. I don't care. Now it doesn't get much fresher than that, huh? We need some rice and wasabi and... Just pull in that belly hoop net. Ah! Yeah. Just toss them right on in there. It's time that we catch a big mutton. Oh. Oh, yeah, rod tip. <laughs> nice, now I got a hat that can cool me down. There we go. Well, we definitely don't have a bait problem today. God no. What'd you get this time? What is that? Yeah, oh, you got a houndfish. Woo! That was a good little jump right there. Uh, he's gonna be shredding that line up. It's a naughty fish. Yeah, those are so. Those are teeth, all right. 
dare you to kiss it. <laughs> Where's that net at? Just in case. Man, I am I'm excited to see what this is. Me too. Oh. Yellow Jack, yep. These are good sushi. Oh, we'll keep them. Oh, can we keep them? Yeah. I either use them for fish dip or sushi. Wow, these oh, can't. I love fish dip. Dang, I thought that I was a mud. Fish. Nice, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Yes! <laughs> oh, thank you, crab, Papa. Oh, he's going for the rocks. Oh. <laughs> oh. Woo -hoo -hoo. Doubled up. Oh. Yep. Oh, I got a snapper. Um, Net? Yeah, just in case. He doesn't want to lose. Nobody ever wants. Oh yeah, I go. Son. Woo! Oh, yeah, oh, baby. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a big old mangrove. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy snap! Yeah, holy snapper! Nice job, dude. Yo, that that's a big, uh, big oh, snap. Man, I'm switching bags. <laughs> Stoked! <laughs> In the box. Look at that monster. ourselves a nice 22 inch mangrove snapper this thing's a freaking monster <laughs> grunts yes, right. sashimi over there I'm about to cut this bad boy up <laughs> Hans is right up the same I'm a big fan of snapper. All right, we're back in action. Yeah. You <laughs> What do you got? Is that second round coming up? Oh, another one. Oh, wow, that is a funny hook. Right in the noggin. It's like building sandcastles. <laughs> it's like called building fish come to me. Look at that. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Top to bottom viz and 60, right, 60 feet. That's it's beautiful. Oh, mackerel oh. or something. I told you I thought a mackerel. Oh wait, no, I don't. I don't know. I got a tug and all of a sudden it was gone. Is that a blue runner? Yep. Blue runner. Blue runner. Well, my socks are wet. I don't know, even know why I bother wearing socks. It's a good little workout. Go back to the patch or try a deep one. 
Uh, got plenty of let's bait. do another deep one. All right, let's do a deep one. That could be a mutton. Oh, don't tell me that. Or a grouper. Oh, no, no. no what is no. that, barracuda? Oh, big king mackerel. King. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's not that easy to get. <laughs> nice. Good work. <laughs> Oh, uh, classic. Ooh, gonna produce. A little trigger. Can we eat a them? pretty big one, actually? Yeah. Or eat them. Trigger for me. Oh, he's a big trigger. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, oh, that trigger is going to live another day. Where did you get the net? Mutton! Nice. That's a beautiful mutton. That's a big block of chum. Big block of chum equals big fish. Hopefully. This does absolutely benefit them whether they like it or not. That's irrelevant. They probably don't, they probably don't see it that way, but. Yeah, baby. Whatever it is, it's got a nice little kick to it. I think I'm going to need the net. <laughs> I'm a little worried actually because he was fighting good and then all of a sudden he started fighting real tough. It's either, oh man, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of worried a shark grabbed it. You're pulling up a snapper, and a shark grabbed it. It was, I was able to manage it a bit, and now it's just, I can't move him. I'll let you know once he's coming in closer. Oh, he, he turned. He's coming back. Chasing him. Ooh, baby. Oh, he came off. Oh, the worst part is I'll never know what it was. The line's not even frayed, it's just a perfect, a perfect oh, cutoff. Yeah. <sighs> That's a good amount. Yeah. Nice. Just what the doctor ordered. Cut the beaks off of them. What you got on there? Fish. Oh, it's a Bermuda, chubby wubby. I have never actually hooked one of those. I'm He's a feisty one. I'll tell you what, I mean, no. Alright, Bermuda Chubb for the battle. It's 
might be the new sport fish. What the heck? Catch it, you gotta eat it. Not a bad looking little box there. Even got the chubby chub in there. I am not eating that fish. Yeah, who's gonna eat that? Huh? I'm interested to know what it tastes like if uh you, I'm gonna need the full report on how that tasted. It's actually a pretty look at that bad boy. came back to a flat tire and um, I tried putting air in it and it turns out there's a hole back here so um, dang that sucks I just had to take everything out of the back of my car and um, yeah there's the spare tire not even the same size rim but better than nothing I One more to go. All right, I think it's a time I put on my new tire. <laughs> you wanna see what happened? This tire had a cracked rim, Chris. I let my buddy drive my car, hit a curb, cracked this rim, which is aluminum or something that's very hard to weld and they try to weld it, but here you can see it, it cracked open, so. Kaput. The worst part is that these Lexani rims are not sold individually and I already looked it up and if I want to fix that rim I have to buy all new rims so uh, all right update I got the new tire on but here's the problem the lug nuts for that tire are too small see look they just go right in there you go, right in. That's not good. Well, I called Advanced Auto Parts 
and they don't have the kind of lug nut that these tires need and everywhere else napa and all the other stores are closed for the weekend because this is the keys hmm i'm starting to run out of ideas on what to do oh the sun's going down and i'm getting cold uh randall just came by dropped his boat off and he is driving to the auto parts store and even though they don't have the lug nuts that fit my wheel he's gonna try to make something work I believe in him I think what he su suggested was we get some JB weld putty stuff that dries and just we're gonna try to fill the cracks in fill the this tire back up with air I'll probably end up just buying uh, new rims uh, new tires for the car and then I'll be coming back to Key Largo permanently. Remember the video I made where I said I was selling the Range Rover? It's because every damn part on this car is some specialty part that you can't buy in a regular auto parts store. It blows my mind that I can't find lugs for this car. Like... <sighs> Love-hate relationship. Got some little trouble. We might make it home. We'll see. <laughs> we might be staying the night after all this. Globbing it on there. Mm -hmm. There goes Randall. Thank you for helping me, Randall. Well, look who made it back to the house. All I can think about is going in my bed right now, but before we do that, we're gonna hammer out a catch and cook out here on the porch, where actually the first thing I'm gonna do is take a shower in there, got the water heating up. I got that snapper that Randall filleted for me. It's always nice when someone else fillets the fish for you. I think it's time we cook and eat this fish because I'm starving and I'm going to make a beer battered fried crumb, breadcrumb crusted snapper. I'm making this with ingredients that I found in my car. So I'll make it work. Here's the fish. I'm going to cube that up. This is the mangrove snapper that I caught, one half of it. And in these two bowls, I'm gonna put the breadcrumbs and then I'm gonna put the, mm, what do you call it? The batter. Let's start by making the batter. This is just your standard all-purpose flour. And I have some of Ball's Cajun seasoning, all-purpose seasoning. Mix that up a bit. Actually use a little more seasoning. There we go. Then add some beer. Uh, this is the only beer I have right now. This was left over, so. So I'm gonna add some beer and then I'm gonna keep stirring it until I get a nice batter-like, so. We can tell we need more beer. Now, if you accidentally add too much beer and it's too watery, you can always add more flour to make it more batter-like. But there's no real rule on how much beer or how much flour to use. Just make sure, see that's starting to turn into batter. I could probably use a little more beer, just maybe just a touch, very small amount. And in this bowl, I'm just going to add some Publix original, whoops, trying to get this in frame, some Publix original breadcrumbs. Let's chop up the snapper into cubes. Ooh, 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 yeah. This is a tile, by the way. Oh man, this.
this knife is blunt. Like really blunt. Mm, man, that's a blunt knife. Hold on a second, I have a better knife. This is more of a bait knife. <laughs> it's got some rust on it, but it'll do the trick. Bingo, all right. Before I start dipping this fish into the batter, let's go and heat up the oil. All right, on the porch out here, that's the, um, the ocean can't really tell though at night but yep. this is a uh, sublime lighter by the way okay. put that on low I have some frying oil blend here which is made out of soybean and peanut oil which is a good combo for frying so I'll put some in here. I know it's Teflon and you're not Teflon and some people say not to fry in Teflon but this is all I have right now as you can tell I'm pretty limited on my resources. I'm not going to put too much peanut oil in there just so the bottom is covered. Maybe a little more actually. Just a, t just a touch more. There's not too much in there, less than a centimeter. So I'll let that start heating up and let's go batter the fish. There's my bathtub, my shower. All right. So basically what I'm gonna do is very simple. I'm just going to Take the fish, dip it in the batter, and dip it into the breadcrumbs. Yeah, no, that's all there is to it. Let's take this bad boy out. I'll drop a little crumb to test it. Oh, yeah, it's ready already. Look at that. I got scared there. Now a real good way to flavor it up is to add some more beer to it while you're frying it. Ah, just kidding. You really think I was going to do that? <laughs> gotcha. I think they're ready to flip. Mmm, wow, that looks good. Both sides look pretty good now. And these bad boys are ready to be taken out. And now I'm just going to finish off these guys. And then it is time to feast. Which I cannot wait for because... I have not ate anything pretty much all day except for a sandwich on the boat, a small Publix, like six inch sub, so I wasn't, 
Not even a full sub. There we have it. I already tried eating one of these and it was really good, except I think I could have used a little bit more of that Cajun seasoning. You can really taste the beer in the batter though. And I mean, it tastes really good. I will add a dash of salt though, for so I can salt the pieces that I want to eat, which well, is all of them. There we go. Let's have this piece over here, eh? Nice white meat. Big thank you, Randall, for taking me out on your boat with your son, Hans. I know that you guys have airboats and do all that fun stuff, so maybe we'll have a frog catch and cook or gator catch and cook or tilapia bow hunting catch and cook coming up real soon. And thank you, Craig, for letting us pick you up in the morning and helping us get that bait. My name is Heiko Winkler. This is the South Florida Fishing Channel, and thank you for watching. Make sure you like this video if you liked it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because every Tuesday between 2 and 7 p.m., I usually upload a new fishing video, but lately I'm trying to upload at least two videos a week. So stay tuned guys, and thank you for watching.